welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. So we are back and it is going to be the Q&A, all things football. I asked you on my Instagram and on Twitter to ask me any questions that are related to football. So we are now going to answer all of your questions. So yeah, let's get into it. Some of your questions guys, I couldn't actually answer them because it's like, what's your favourite team and stuff? Like, what's that even mean? But let's get into it. So first question is... <laughs> okay, you're going to beat West Ham was also a question by the way guys and just to let you know this is the day after we did beat West Ham so sorry guys. Um, who is your favourite player? So my favourite player has got to be Rashford. I do really like Casemiro so I am really stuck between them two just because they're both great in different ways, like Casemiro's headers are ridiculous. And Rashford's goals, we can't even talk about that. He's just out of this world. Um, let's go to the next one. Okay, so, favourite number seven for United. Now, my favourite number seven of all time for United has got to be Beckham. He was just absolute world-class there's just nothing else needing to be said about that one. Okay, so next question, guys. What do we think of Tottenham? What do we think of Tottenham? Well, I think Roy Keane definitely described it perfectly. They're just a small club who get very excited when they come to Old Trafford and they get a few shots on goal. So... I mean, there's nothing else to say about that other than what Roy Keane said. Completely agree. Okay, so, next question is, the best game you've ever watched? Now, if we're talking most recently, for me, it would have to be the World Cup final, just because it exploded out of nowhere, there were chances flying about everywhere, and... The drama of, like, Messi winning his first World Cup final. So, yeah, of course, see, that's got to be the, the best game I've ever watched, like, recently. So, yeah, okay, moving on. Next question. Right, so, do you think we can win all of this silverware this season? <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to say yes, because I'm a United fan, and I really hope we win it all. But, another note. We got to remember is in the league we do have City and Arsenal who are both ahead. So, but nevertheless, I do think in Europe and the FA Cup we stand a really good chance. The way it's looking at the moment, I'm pretty impressed with what I'm seeing. The team are just coming together, and we've got this. We've got this. Next question. So. Um, who do you think is the most important for us? Rashi, Casemiro or Martinez? Now, this is a tough one purely because they are all so important in their own positions. So, I don't know. I think they're all really needed because if you take one of them out, then the quality drops a little bit. So, to be honest... I think they're all so, so important, so I'm not going to pick one out just because we need all of them to survive and win all of the games. Now, moving on. Um, I've already answered who is your favourite player. I get that quite a lot. Um, first time at a final for United. So, no, it's not my first time at a final for United, but it is the first time I have flogged it. So, if that answers your question... Then yeah. Um, next question we are going to do is, who is your favourite current player, first past player? Okay, so my favourite current player is, oh, like I said earlier, I am very torn between Casemiro and Rashford, but I am going to say Rashford, probably my favourite current player. And my favourite past player, as you guys all know, who I always say in all of my Instagram stories and everywhere it is gonna be Rooney he was in my favourite team at one point and I will get him back don't worry guys we will get back 
So, <laughs> that was another question. So, next question. If you could sign any player in the current market to sign for us, who would it be? So, at the moment, what I think United are needing is a striker, purely because Martial is injured quite a lot and we don't actually have a natural number nine to replace him. So I think if we're talking about current market, I would maybe say Kane or Mbappe, some, like, somewhere along the lines of them two. But I mean, if we have Mbappe, Mbappe, I mean, you know, there are hints, little things that you see flying around on social media. I know they say don't believe it, and obviously you're not, but if we had Mbappe with Rashford or that combo, sickening, pure sickening. Moving on to our next question. So, out of all legends we were linked to in the past, who would you have liked to see play for us? That is a good question. I've never had that one before. So I'm gonna say Ronaldinho. I mean, he was, I think we can all agree he was He was quite something back in the day. Um, Obviously, we almost had him. We always had him, but Beckham left in that summer, so we didn't quite catch him. But it would have to be Ronaldinho, just purely because look at what he achieved at Barcelona. He was just phenomenal. No words. No, he got shit done. So, next question, guys. I think we've got one more after this question. So... What experience or memory made you a Manchester United fan? So my family actually support them. They're from the area. They, my dad used to take me to the games. So I was kind of brought up and made to support United. But I mean, uh, I'm not saying no. Like, have, have you seen United in past and present times? I mean, you don't need to say why well, I support them. You get where I'm going. So final question, guys. Could Man United win Champions League under Eric Ten Hag? Now, yes we can. Yes we can. Of course we can. Do you know why? Because Eric Ten Hag at the minute, oh my, he was the manager we needed. He is the manager, but I have no words for him. My words don't even come out because he is, he is the best manager. And he has got the players in such a great form at the minute that I don't see why we wouldn't win the Champions League and more. Like they, the team have actually come together, we're playing as a team, we are just absolutely amazing right now so I do strongly believe that we could win the Champions League. Yeah, I don't see why not. So this is me closing the video guys, I hope you have enjoyed. I have certainly enjoyed doing it and answering all your questions. Thank you to everyone who wrote me questions on, wrote me? That doesn't make sense. I couldn't even, sorry, I couldn't even carry on when I put wrote me. I meant written me questions. Does that even make sense? Wrote me? I'm waffling on now guys. What I'm meaning is thank you for everyone who actually got involved with so guys, I'm really sorry about that. I did just have a little bit of a mind blank as to what I was actually trying to get out. Um, but thank you to everyone who asked me questions, was what I was trying to say. Thank you to everyone who got involved. Some of the, like, all of the questions were so great and I loved answering all of them really. I actually answered all of them. The only ones that I couldn't answer were literally like, can I go to a game with you? Can I, who's your favourite team? Um, you did Barca dirty. I can't answer those. They're not questions, guys. Um, but yeah, everything else, I have answered all your questions. I've had fun doing it. Do comment below if you actually want me to do this again. Like, I found it super fun. So I would happily do one of these again. Um, and yeah, if there is anything I can improve on, guys, do comment below as well. I do take, is it like criticism? But good criticism. So if there's anything like you want to see more of, um, more stuff just let me know in the comments guys and I will be commenting back and I hope you have a great weekend because we are on Friday so I hope you have the best weekend and I will see you again next Friday guys have a great one, peace out